Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Sears coming at you live, also known as Dr. Carmen. And we are doing another keto, clean keto recipe. I didn't have to fix anything this time. It came straight out of my secret group. If you want entry into that secret group where all the recipes are, drop secret in the comments. This one is a crab quiche. It's a keto crab quiche. How many of you think about quiche for dinner instead of quiche for breakfast? I am going to use this for breakfast and dinner or for dinner and lunch. It just depends on how I feel. I try to do two things at the beginning of the week and then I can mix and match. So I've been waiting to do this quiche for a long time. And again, it came from my group. I already know it's clean. What makes it keto is that it is low carb, high fat, and moderate protein. So most of the calories will come from fat and then it will come from protein and then very little, minimal, from carbs. So this recipe has three net carbs and if you wanna know how to tell what your net carbs are, drop tools in the comments below and I will get you that info, which is also in the group. Um, it has 20 grams of protein and 11 grams of fat. That's because of the eggs and um, cheese and it's 206 calories it yields 10 servings y'all so again if you have a family and you're trying to think of what to cook for your family while you're trying to eat healthy this is one of those things and you can put some extra veggies and things on the side so I will go over the recipes shortly in the meantime say hello thumbs up me give me a like do your subscription to my channel. That way you can get more exclusively when it comes out. And also on Facebook, make sure you favorite me and tell Facebook you want to see me first. And no matter which platform you're on, make sure you're sharing me out to your friends and dropping share it in the comments so I know that you're a sharer. Sharing is caring. All right, I am back for take two of Clean Keto Crab quiche. Please do me a favor and let me know if you can see me and hear me because last time something was going on with the book. I don't know what's going on, but nobody could see me or hear me. I would appreciate you if you could be my tech assistant and let me know if it's working. What's going on, but nobody could see me. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging in there. Thank you for coming back. I'm going to invite a few of you back in just in case I lost you with the last go round. This is some great food that we are going to do. I know it's a holiday weekend. I'm not saying you have to eat clean today or tomorrow, but it's always good to get a handle on things before the week starts. So this is what I do to stay straight. I wasn't the best because I, I you know, what I liked about this weekend, which started on Thursday for me, honestly, is being able to meet up with girlfriends that I haven't had a chance to talk to in a while. Thank you for the love. I appreciate you. And I spent time with one girlfriend on Zoom on Thursday. We haven't seen each other face to face since the pandemonium. Um, and, you know, pandemonium prevented her from coming back down with her family. And I miss her a lot. And I was so grateful to see her met with another friend on Friday and we had pizza. I had bread, real bread, personal pizza. Shout outs to um, Oak and Stone restaurant for the best black bread pizza. It was so tasty. You know, I usually do glaze, but I love Oak and Stone just for the atmosphere. It is amazing. So if you're ever in my area, Sarasota, Bradenton, check them out. So. We did all of those things, and I got in some bike riding in between the rain Thursday, Friday, no, Friday, Saturday, and today was an excellent day. So I am going to eat, still eat great. I'm going to eat cleaner today because I, I went off plan the other days. But honestly, I fasted until 2 o'clock on Friday till about 3 o'clock yesterday. So um, it all works out because I intermittent fast. So my eating window is usually from 1 to 8, 8.30. Didn't feel like eating, was not hungry, had my little tools with me like I have now. So that really helps me curb my appetite and it just wasn't an issue. 
This recipe is leftover from my challenge the other day where we ate um, clean keto for 10 days and um, I just needed a jump start to get back on schedule. That's also why I joined the Great Cycle Challenge, which is why I'm doing so much bike riding for this month, because at the end of the month, I am hoping to have done 75 miles in bike riding. It also raises funds for children suffering with cancer and going through cancer treatment. So if you want to donate something for my miles, I would greatly appreciate it. And so would they. So if you share me out, please put share it in the comments. If you share me somewhere I can't go, please shoot me a screenshot and, and put it in my inbox. If you're not friends with me, send me a friend request so that we can get to be friends and your mail won't go to the junk mail. So let's get into it. Now that we know that the sound is working and the video is working, I pre-did a lot of stuff. So it's not gonna take that long to get it on. Here is the list of ingredients. We have eight large eggs beaten. We're gonna beat them on camera. One cup of almond milk, one green pepper, and one red pepper. So when I did my Instacart shop, I this is what they sent me, red, orange, and yellow. So we are using uh, red and yellow peppers today. So the yellow peppers will be a little bit sweeter. The red peppers are a little bit more bitter, but the red peppers also have some good beta carotines, I think, but stuff that's good for your eyes, good antioxidants. So we're gonna be using those. We got one pound of crab meat. I have three cans of bumblebee crab meat here. I didn't get the lump crab meat. That's what we're working with because it works so well in another recipe I did. So that's my shortcut. Your, your value, you try something different. If you're at the wholesale stores, you can do it that way. I think the bumblebee is actually from a Walmart shop. Um, one cup of shredded cheese, four ounces of Swiss cheese. I have four ounces of mozzarella because we didn't have any Swiss cheese left. Uh, we will be using my favorite Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. Um, I'm not an Old Bay person. I'm from New Orleans. So we do Zatarans and Creole seasoning. Um, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of pink salt. Don't need the pepper because it's in the Creole seasoning. And that's it, y'all. It's pretty simple. Um, we, it's my first time playing with eggplant. So this is half, the larger half of the eggplant. We're going to cube that. Give me some eyes and ears if you can see the action over here where we're going to cube everything. Um, I tried to do most of my chopping and prepping before then. What did you guys cook for today? Did you barbecue today or will you be barbecuing tomorrow? Drop me some barbecue in the comments if you're barbecuing tomorrow. If you did it today, tell me what you barbecued. Um, I still have the possibility of barbecuing. Have not made up my mind if that's what I want to do. Um, we shall see. I still have one more recipe to cook. This is my effort at Cuban, yes. I have one more recipe. I try to do two recipes on Sunday or the weekend so that I can pick and choose during the week. That just makes life easier and you won't get bored with what you're eating. I forgot to mention the most important thing. This recipe has 12, 10 servings in it, 206 calories. I don't really count calories because again, I'm keto and intermittent fasting. You stop eating when you're full, you eat when you're hungry. That's how it works. Um, so again, folks, I'm giving you the free free. So in addition to the free free, I need you to share me out um, so we can get this message across that just because it's healthy eating, just because it's keto, doesn't mean that you're gonna sacrifice the taste or the flavor. So share me out and drop share it in the comments. Today starts a new round of freebies. So for all your shares this week until next Sunday, Saturday, you will get a free gift from me. So we're gonna salt the eggplant with the um, pink Himalayan sea salt. And that is where our, our salt is gonna come from today. So I'm just gonna put them on this plate, make life easier and salt them. Some of y'all did not break up. All right, so like I said, I did the bigger half of the eggplant. The other part is in the fridge. 
I will use it for some other recipe or add it to a salad. That's how we make the most of what we got. There we go. Now you guys can see what I see. Pink Himalayan salt is better than iodized salt because you get more of the minerals and stuff in there. So now we're going to switch. I have my eight eggs. They are at room temperature now, and we're going to whisk them up. Where's my whisk? Oh, shoot. I guess I broke one. Sounded like I broke one. So let's get the mess all in one place. Yes, I think the garbage people have off tomorrow. So we got to contain this so there's no smells in the kitchen. All right. No shell in our quiche. So what makes this keto is that we are using... Um, moderate protein, high fat. The fat comes from the cheese. The fat comes from, um, oh, where is the fat? Oh my goodness. What do we got in here? Cheese, cheese, and more cheese. That's where our fat is coming from. There's some fat from the eggs as well. Um, but again, we're not doing a lot of carbs. There's, there's very little carbs in here. It is actually three net carbs. If you don't know how to determine what your net carbs are, drop net in the comments, and I will get you into my secret group that we do all that keto education for you. And it also has tons of recipes like this recipe and tons of support plus my coaching. So we're gonna beat the eggs. Get them beaten really good. And then we're going to start adding our other ingredients in. I might need a spatula. Do not think of that. So I did not do the seasoning as they do. I seasoned it like I season my eggs when I scramble them. I just season it to the point where I think it is seasoned enough. Usually it's pretty good. I'm just going to put that over there. We're going to add in our milk, our eggplant um and our veggies let's see so here's the milk one cup of milk i really should have done the spatula silly me silly me we don't want to waste any ingredients y'all we put in enough effort for this to be clean and good so we want to make sure everybody goes in all right, so we're just combining that, and then we're going to add our cheese. So one cup of cheese is 16 ounces. The bag is 16 ounces. Sometimes I get two cups uh, in our cheese. This is actually a Fiesta cheese blend. didn't know which one I picked. I always have cheese. Now, this is the dirty part of our keto because generally you want to shred your own cheese because cheese like this comes with potato starch and whatever. To hold it together but i don't have time for that so we're going to do a little dirty um, 16 ounces is two cups one cup is eight ounces one cup so we're going to use half of this bag i always wind up doing some math in some kind of way i like cheese cheese doesn't always like me but i can manage it with this and then four ounces of mozzarella. So that's that. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese because I like it. Oh, I like it and I'm hungry. So never cook when you're hungry. Never shop when you're hungry. That's why we have a tool. Oh, that's so good. I also put some MCT oil in here. So it tastes kind of like a cream sickle except it's elderberry and blackberry mm. oh it's delicious anyway back to combining it i think we got everything in there oh, yes all of it is in there i did oh 
See guys, that's why you have to keep an eye on me. I almost forgot the crab. That's the most important part of this. So let's get our crab in here. I thought I drained it well before I did this, but oh well. And if you don't know, when you're getting crab in the can, it comes with a little paper dealy. I don't know why, but it does. So let's get all our crab meat out. And come on, peoples. All right, let's use the knife. No problem. All right, so this one I did get the water out really well. And the last one. So we had to do some more math. There's six ounces in each can. I used three cans, so that's roughly 18, but I knew we would have more of the eggplant in there. So it'll all even out, but you really, all right, got to hold it so the paper doesn't come with. All right, paper, release the crab, please, Mr. Paper. All right. So it'll all even out between the um, eggplant. We're supposed to do a small eggplant. Again, this was an Insta shop. So the Instacart person, thank you very much. You were very, very helpful. Um, chose a big eggplant. And so we work with it. It will even out with our lesser crab meat. But we are going to have a great quiche here, folks. So I'm just going to make sure all of that is combined. Look at how pretty it looks with the red peppers in there hmm should i put more cheese i'm feeling like i want more cheese people what we will do is maybe sprinkle some on top that may skew your fat on here because i'm sprinkling more on top and we're going to put it in a 9 by 13 pan um the pan uh i'm sorry not the pan but the oven has been preheated on 350 and it's going to go in the oven for uh, 40 to 45 minutes so dinner will be ready around eight ish so it's not too too bad all right so cleaning as we go i love this bowl because it makes it so easy to pour stuff um if you guys can still see me let me know all right so it's heavy This is going to be a great quiche, and you don't just have to reserve quiche for breakfast. This may be lunch and dinner, depending on how good it is. You know that recipe I did last week. It was so good, y'all. I had it for lunch and dinner and lunch and dinner, and it was just yum. I was sad to see it go. So let's distribute. Oh, we left some peppers behind. No peppers left behind, folks. No peppers left behind. We want it all. We want it all in here. So let's make sure that we get our eggplant distributed here. So we got some in every section of our pan. All right. Y'all look a little absent. All right. It's a little bit gummed in the middle here. All right. So like I said, I got this from my uh, clean keto challenge last, that was about 10 to 12 days ago. And where's the rest of my cheese? If you want access to this, put secret in the comments and I will get you access to this. If you would like more coaching and would like to find out how to get started keto and how to stay on track, or access to the tools I use. Um, put tools in the comments. I'm just putting a little bit on top so I'll have a nice cheesy layer. My flavor, I know usually I do it strictly to the recipe the first go round. Um, feeling like I wanna do something a little extra today because I'm feeling extra for the holiday. There we go. So, this is it. This is the finished product before it goes in the oven. I'm going to stick it in for 45 minutes. If you got some value for this, put some hearts in the comments. And um, again, 
share this out to your friends and let me know who you shared it to. If you share it somewhere, I can't go. Um, drop something in my inbox. If there are other recipes, um, Tina Meadows wanted me to do the, um, the Duncan Hines fudgy brownies that are keto now. We did that a couple of days ago. If you want to track back and check it out, do so. And also, um, if you have any other recipes you want me to make healthy, let me know. All right. Remember to play with your food. And just because it's healthy doesn't mean it can't have flavor. All right. I'll see you guys later with the finished product and the taste test in the stories.